Framelines sits down with the writer-producer Mickey Fisher, who was our first feature filmmaker. A lot has happened since we talked with Mickey since then. He's created the CBS series, which stars Halle Berry, is being produced by Steven Spielberg. Also, he's working on a feature script for Warner Brothers. Well, I moved out to LA three years ago, and uh, after making all the, the independent films and, the, and all the projects I was doing at home and at theaters, and uh, I moved out here three years ago, wanted to break into TV. I wrote this pilot script and I entered it into a contest early last year and um, I got a call late March from the guy who ran the contest and said, you're one of our five finalists, we're going to try to get you represented. That led to getting a manager, the manager led to getting an agent and the first day the agent said, let's take this script and let's start at the very top, let's send it to Steven Spielberg. And, uh, and then here I am a year later, I'm, we're days away, weeks away from premiering the show on CBS. So uh, after they sent the script to Steven Spielberg, there were those, you know, the, the, the long week where you're waiting and, and I eventually got a call from my agent and they said, well, there's this filmmaker named Steven Spielberg and he likes your script. And so I started going to meetings to pitch out the rest of what I, the big ideas that I had for the season and the series. Um, we hired a showrunner, Greg Walker, who has written for The X-Files and for Smallville and he created his own show, Vegas. And, uh, without a trace and, and he and I hit it off right away and he and I began sort of developing the world and developing the story and really coming up with a plan for what this could be and then um, in late July we went around to nine different places to shop it around and, and to pitch the show. Uh, CBS purchased it and we actually found out on my 40th birthday that the, 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 the news hit the streets and I, I woke up that morning to a call from Mr. Spielberg himself saying congratulations and happy happy birthday. Well, we got uh, an Academy Award winner named Halle Berry to play the lead role of Molly Woods. There are, she's the centerpiece of the show. She's our astronaut who, who goes to space on a solo mission and, and uh, doesn't come home alone. So she was the first person, the only person we really, that we really thought of, really chased after, and lucky for us, she was chasing after the show too. She really, she read the script, really responded to it, wanted to do it. and. Um, so for me, it was like that was the dream come true because she's the, the perfect person to play this kind of role. You know, she's somebody that you just you root for, you get behind, you want to you want to see Halle Berry save the world. I mean, one of the coolest parts of the uh, the whole experience was we were put together the writers' room and we were hiring all the production staff and we were all in the offices together on the same floor. And I would go walking around the offices and and you know doing our work and going to meetings and. and and then just gradually like artwork would start showing up on the walls and conceptual pieces and, and all of a sudden the space station or these moments that I had dreamed up and put on paper you know a year two years before so so I would start walking around the halls and see these things take shape and all this these moments that were just in my started in, as an idea in my mind were were now like you know becoming reality and then you go on the stage and you see that another group of Artists and craftspeople have, have created this on a soundstage, and it's a and it's a house. I mean, it's a real, it's a two-story house that's on, on the stage, and 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 the space center and the space station and all these places that that, that we've dreamed up come to life, and and you know a, a team of really hardworking people, day and night and blood, sweat and tears to make it happen. So, it's yeah, it's it's a dream come true in so many ways. They always tell you to, to write what you know, and and the first movie that I wrote, the thing that I knew. Uh, was my hometown. And so I wrote the story in my hometown, set my story there. Um, and then I also knew that I could film it there. I could, you know, I could take advantage of those independent film resources, the things that they, they tell you to do right around what you have. And I had my parents' house and our neighborhoods and things like that too. And I, I feel like that's what Ohio offered me. It offered me the opportunity to, to, to tell stories. But the other thing that offered is, uh, it, it's a fertile environment for storytelling. There, there are so many stories there and there are people to tell them and talented people there. And, and uh, I feel like we have a lot more to go. I would say if you if you really want to write movies, direct movies, write, make television, act, whatever it is that, that just start doing, just start creating something. You know, even as small as it is, I, I, I made a very small independent film and then that got me to make another independent film and, and, and I got to work with people and learn the process and I made music videos and I'm still going to be making those kind of things for myself on the side because I feel like just, just learning to be creative and make those kind of choices and decisions is that, um, it's it's a, a huge skill to have, and, and and every little bit of that led to something else, and, and created a relationship or or uh, you know a new avenue, and and I really feel like just the fact that I started making my own things got me here eventually.